Hi everyone, welcome back to Elfo Deco. Today we're back in it with some more coasters or trinket trays. Uh, last time we made some origami paper coasters, so some really pretty Japanese design origami paper. If you haven't watched the video yet, go check it out. Um, if Japanese designs aren't quite your thing, we can try some tropical coasters with cardstock. Um, so last time I did the resin test for the paper on the origami paper to see if it works. Um, and this time I did the same test and it's kind of transparent through the paper for the resin. So I decided to laminate them again. So let's get started with that process. Here we have the paper pad that I got the designs from. I got this paper pad from Michaels a while back. I'm just going through to pick out my designs and we're going to make this a set with a floor design and the birds. Now I'm going to use my paper puncher to punch out the parts of the designs that I want for these coasters. For the birds design, I made sure to get the birds in there. Now I'm going to put these circles in my laminating pouch and then another pouch that came with my make laminator. I think the second pouch helps to prevent the laminating sheet from rolling off because that's what happened when I tested it without the second pouch. Each laminator is different so this is just what I do for my make laminator. We're almost done, we just need to cut off the excess laminating sheets around the circles and then these circles are resin proof. Now we're going to pour the first layer, which is just the rim. I chose the green pyromorphite and opulent tanzanite from Maspring to pair with these designs that we have here. I am using Totable's high performance slow resin for these coasters. I'm just going to mix the mica powder into the resin and then pour into the rim. We'll let that harden and then come back to put the papers in. I'm just going along the edges to bring up any bubbles to the surface. You don't have to worry about the resin getting onto the surface of the mold because we can just clean that up with blue tape once it's hardened. So it's about several hours now and you see the drips have completely hardened and we're just picking it up with the tape very easily. For the second layer, we are just pouring clear resin into the mold and then placing the designs into it. I am reusing a cup that was used to mix a red color, so the cup is red if you are confused. We are just spreading out the resin to make sure it covers the whole mold and then we can just place the design right into it. And press hard to get the bubbles to the surface. Thank you. 
Now we're back with the green pyromorphite and opulent tanzanite, the colors that I use for the rim to cover the back. So now we're ready to demold these coasters and look! They're so pretty, just like the origami paper coasters. The colors may seem a little dull because my room is a little bit dark, but once I take them out into the sunlight after I dome them, you'll see. So I am adding a top layer to these coasters just to make them extra shiny. I am using Totable Tabletop Resin for this process. I just poured some resin in the middle and then spreading it out to the rim. That way I can control the amount of resin that I use for this step and not over pour. So now I'm just going through my heat gun to pop any bubbles on the surface. And then we'll let that sit for 12 to 24 hours and I'm ready to show it off. Look at how much brighter and shinier it looks in the sunlight and with that top coat on. Do you like these tropical trays more or the origami design ones? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit that like and subscribe button. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about these coasters and what you would like to see in future videos. I'll see you next time.